Teddy It's Paige, and today's video is going to be a haul in retrospect. I am especially excited to be filming this video because I've been wanting to film one like this for so long. I don't know what has taken me until now to actually do it, but I'm happy that I am. So what I mean by a haul in retrospect is basically I looked back on my channel and I found a Sephora haul from November 2019, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on those products a year later. So I will link my initial haul video. I didn't watch it. I didn't re-watch it. I honestly like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scared to watch my old videos. Just like as time goes by, they just get cringy and I'm probably going to think that this video is cringy in a year, but that's just how it is. So I will have the original haul video linked down below. I will also have all the products that I'm mentioning in today's video linked down below as well if they are still available. So this should be interesting. I've never done a video like this on my channel before, but I have seen someone named Lauren May Beauty do it. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, you need to go subscribe to her. I saw her do a video like this like forever ago, like probably over a year ago is when I recall seeing this. And I definitely wanted to give credit to her because I was totally inspired by her to film this video. And I planned on doing this back in January and then I just never got around to it. I thought I would do it for like my first Sephora haul of the year, but then that never happened. And here we are, it's November. <laughs> We're almost in 2021. I let almost an entire year go by wanting to film this video, but we are here. I'm gonna stop rambling. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. The first item on my list of products to talk about today is from Jouer. This is a highlighter. This is the highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. So I actually can't open this. This is what it looks like. This is a stunning highlighter. I have used this but very few times, probably less than five times. I will swatch this for you. I mentioned in a video recently that I really like Jouer products and wow, I have been freaking neglecting this highlighter. This is so stunning and beautiful. I love the color and the sheen that that has is wow. Okay, well, I'm dumb. I basically let this sit in a drawer for an entire year and I only used it like twice. So I definitely want to use this more. I think I'm going to put this in my next everyday makeup drawer, which I plan on filming right after I film this. So that will be coming soon. By the way, I did film a makeup look. I tried a ton of new products that I picked up recently in the Sephora sale and I tried a bunch of them out on my face today. So if you're interested, I will have that video linked down below as well. Wow, I feel like I am a rambling mess today. So anyway, um, did I get my money's worth out of this highlighter? Absolutely not. This is a $25 highlighter and it is still available, but I definitely, I just, what a waste. Honestly, I'm glad that I realized this because this has definitely helped me like realize how long I've actually had things. Like if you asked me how long I've had this, I definitely would not have said a year. I would did not think that I've had this for an entire year. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but when you think about it, like I have the proof. I literally bought this November 8th, 2019, and here we are November 3rd, 29 or 2020 and it's just crazy. So do I regret purchasing this? No, but I do regret not using it enough or at least not using it as much as I should or not using it more. The next product that I mentioned in that video, assuming that my list is in order of the video, I, I, I feel like it is. That's how I usually do it. But anyway, the next product is actually from Huda Beauty. This is the Mercury Retrograde Palette. Can you believe that I've had this for an entire year? Because I can't. I definitely cannot believe I've had this for a whole year. But I gotta say, this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. I love this palette. It is incredible. I love the formulas. I love the color scheme. I love everything about it. I'm gonna try to show you guys what it looks like, but I know the packaging is sort of reflective, so it's hard to see. I don't even know if that was in focus, but 
This is such an amazing palette and I would recommend it to anybody. It is very expensive. It's $67. This is still available, but I actually mentioned this in my Sephora sale recommendations video. I love this palette. I mentioned this one and the new nude palette because these are both more expensive, but they are incredible palettes. I am so happy with this purchase. I once again can't believe it's been a whole year, but like it just makes me so happy. This is a product that gives me joy. Wow, look at that angle. That is right there. That is that's something else. But <laughs> this is something that makes me so happy inside. It's one of my favorite makeup items and I love it so much. I'm definitely happy that I purchased this. I actually had a little bit of buyer's remorse when I first bought it. I ordered it online and then I was like, shoot, like I shouldn't have just spent $70 on that eyeshadow palette, but then I got it and I started using it and I fell in love. So that is one, thankfully was so worth it. I'm glad I didn't waste $70 on an eyeshadow palette and I still love it to this day. The next product that I have is actually another somewhat ironic one because I actually just mentioned this in a video as well. This is a perfume. This is YSL Libre. I actually mentioned this in my October favorites video and I love this perfume. I definitely, as you can see, I've had this for a year and it looks full, but this is definitely something that I could just use one, maybe two spray it's pretty intense so I don't go overboard with it if I'm using pink sugar I'm like spray 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 I get like my hair my shirt my shoulders my wrists everything with this I'll literally just go like one two and then I'm good for the entire day I absolutely love this perfume once again I can't believe that it's been an entire year it's crazy how time flies isn't it like I graduated high school five years ago. Like, whoa, where has the time gone? I just, it's its crazy to me. I know people always say it. It's like once you graduate high school, time just flies by. And it's like the older you get, the faster time goes by. And it's like, oh, it's scary. But anyway, I love this perfume. I am very happy that I purchased it. And... I wish that I have had used it more over the last year, but I definitely don't regret it. I love it. It smells so good. Mm, I love it so much. Definitely a good one. I'm sort of putting things into categories of whether I regret purchasing them or I was happy with my purchase or I don't regret it, but I definitely should have used it more. Next we have the Benefit Brow Styler. This is a product that honestly I thought they discontinued because I do not hear anybody talking about this product. I purchased this obviously November 2019. It's a like half brow pencil, half brow powder situation. The powder is on this little brush here and I actually used this quite a bit when I first got it but I probably haven't used it since 2020 started. It's an interesting product but I don't think I've ever seen this on the internet. Like I think I just happened to see that this was like new at Sephora so I picked it up but I don't think I've ever seen this in a YouTube video. I have, I can't recall a single person talking about this product other than me. <laughs> and and honestly, definitely not my kind of brow product. The actual pencil is very thick. I don't know if you can tell, but it's even, I feel like, bigger than the Goof Proof pencil, which I prefer a nice fine tipped pencil like the Precise Like My Brow Pencil or the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, something like that. This is just not my favorite thing. And then the powder is okay. It's unique. I've never used anything like this before, but I just feel like... This doesn't really, my brows don't need this. I just need a little skinny pencil and some clear brow gel and I'm good to go. I also didn't like that this hat didn't have a spoolie for me to like comb my brows through, which I have to do every single day. Um, I think at the time I really liked this product, but now definitely a regret of mine. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this product and I don't know. It was nice for a while, but like, have I gotten my use, like the worth out of it? Probably not. This was $34 and there's still a ton of product in here. So this is definitely a disappointing product for me, but I'm pretty sure I loved that for a while. Like at the time, I think I really enjoyed it, but after trying other brow products and really figuring out what I like, that's definitely not it. 
Oh boy, this next one is a pricey one. This product is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Palette of Pops Luxury Eyeshadow Palette, and I have mine in the shade Pillow Talk. This is $53 for four little itty bitty eyeshadows. That's insane. This is the shimmer finish. I think there's two. I think there's like there's a shimmer and then a something else. I don't know if it's like natural or matte or what. But in this one, all four of the shades are shimmery metallic colors. This is a stunning quad. I think it is so beautiful. I will swatch a couple of the shades. Actually, I'll swatch three of them and show you how pretty it is. Was this worth $54? It's crazy because I actually did a like Charlotte Tilbury video recently where I mentioned if things were worth it or not and had you asked me prior to filming that video I would have said no it's not worth it like $53 for this itty bitty thing when like a full size eyeshadow palette is like 50 bucks usually from Sephora um but then after i used it in that video i actually fell in love with it again and i used this deep color right here in the outer corner and i just i don't know what it was but it just it did something magical on my eyelids and i'm so happy that i used it recently because it like re-sparked my interest and love for this product and i spent a lot of money on it so i would love to love it and appreciate it so i do think that this is worth it i am happy that i have it this is the only charlotte tilbury eyeshadow that i have like regular hand eyeshadow and it's a nice little introductory am i telling you like you need to drop everything like put this above everything prioritize getting this product absolutely not like no but if you've been really wanting it if you've been interested in it i think that I am happy that I have it and I do think that it is worth it. It's just a matter of preference and if you're willing to spend $50 on some eyeshadow. That's a hard one for me. Like I feel a little bit conflicted on that. I don't regret purchasing it at all, but it's hard for me to justify the price tag to you guys for me. The next item is actually a lip pencil. I have quite a few lip products to talk about today. This is from Patrick Ta. I purchased the Monochrome Moment Precision Lip Crayon in the shade She's Proud. This is a $26 lip liner. I actually have two of them now. I have She's Proud and She's Humble. So I first, I think I bought this one first. Okay, no, I bought this one first and i fell in love with the formula so i actually ended up purchasing this one like a month or so later or at least a couple weeks later so this is a lip liner that i've actually mentioned that i love it's one of my favorites i love this formula i think the packaging is so cute you like click it to dispense the product and this is a really pretty nude kind of color it's almost like cool toned and warm toned at the same time it is a little bit deeper than what i typically go for but i think under a nice lighter nude i think this would be stunning and like i mentioned i love this formula definitely don't regret purchasing that one i will swatch she's humble as well i think i prefer the shade she's humble actually i definitely do it's more of a pink than a brown if that makes sense and they're just so creamy they have a matte finish they're very pigmented and although 26 dollars is a lot of money for a lip pencil these have lasted me a really long time and i have used them a ton i can't tell how much product i have left in them since you don't like twist them up you just click it and once you click it like you can't undo that so it'll be interesting to see when i do run out of these but it's a year later and i still have both of them and i have definitely gotten a lot of use out of those we have another lip product. This one is actually from NARS. This is a lipstick in the shade Belle Du Jour. And I actually think I mentioned this in a either my current favorites video or my September favorites video. I'm not sure which one, but I definitely mentioned it in a favorites video recently. This is such a pretty nude. It's almost like a lip balm kind of 
consistency. It's very hydrating. It has a beautiful sheen to it, but it's definitely a lot more pigmented than a lip balm. I actually purchased this because Omrizi mentioned it on her Instagram story once. She actually talked about a lot of NARS products and I bought a couple this haul and this was one of them. I am so happy that I bought this and I actually bought it, didn't use it for a long time. And then the last, like I would say three or four months, I've really gotten into this lipstick. It's a super easy on the go lipstick stick you can use it to top a lip liner or liquid lipstick and it just gives your lips a nice beautiful healthy sheen while also giving you a little bit of that peachy nude kind of vibe and I just think it's a really nice lipstick I think this is the only NARS lipstick that I've ever owned and I'm definitely very happy with it I do want to purchase another one um, that's going in the happy I bought it pile but I do want to purchase another one I'm not sure what it's called I feel like it might be Raquel or Rachel or something like that. I think Jessica Bronze mentioned it in a video and I was like, oh, that is so pretty on her. And it made me want to buy it. But I think it's on my loves list, but I haven't pulled the trigger and purchased it yet. But I'm definitely happy that I purchased that one. Next, I am ashamed. I am ashamed of this next product, which is actually two products. Oh, you guys. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. Okay, so let me defend myself for a second. I love this product so much. It is amazing. However, I have a bunch of these. I have like probably six or seven of the full-sized lip sleeping masks. I have a couple of minis. I have the lip balms in the squeezy tubes. I just have too many of this product to use them all up in a reasonable amount of time and I have learned this. I haven't purchased any recently even though there are some that I really really wanted like I wanted the gummy bear lip sleeping mask. I do have the lip balm version of that because my mom actually bought that for me and gave it to me and that's in my purse. Love it. Uh, but I didn't pick up the lip sleeping mask because I knew that I wasn't using up the other ones that I have. So these were their holiday lip sleeping masks. I'm pretty sure I bought these separately. Yes, I did. They are $22. This one says it's limited edition, but I still see the option to add it to my basket. I'm looking at my past purchases on my Sephora account. So these are $22 each. We have sweet candy, which is so yummy. And then we have mint, no, wait, what is this called? Mint Choco. Mint Choco. So let me just show you. So the sweet candy one, I definitely have used it, but not a lot. You just need the tiniest bit of this product. I probably used this like 10 to 15 times, which like I used it for two weeks basically and then stopped. And I definitely want to get more use out of this. So I'm going to put this on my nightstand so that I remind myself to use that as often as possible. This next one is where it's bad. No joke. I'm not kidding you. It's been an entire year. Have not touched it not even once not one little scoop is missing from this product and it, it smells I mean it smells like mint chocolate it smells like it's supposed to but I'm just not like a mint chocolate lip product person I love mint chocolate chip ice cream like that is amazing but like why did I buy this I don't know what this one makes sense to me like I get it like I definitely don't regret this one but I gotta say I do regret purchasing this one because am I ever gonna choose this scent over the other ones that I have absolutely not and obviously I haven't because I haven't touched it so this is something that I do regret and I shouldn't have purchased two at the same time knowing how long these last and how difficult it is to go through them so that unfortunately is going to be regret pile with the benefit pencil but luckily those are the only two regrets so far we have yet another lip product this is from charlotte tilbury this is the oh i forgot what this is called the lip luster lip gloss in the shade Ibiza Nights. This is another product that I bought because of Omrizi. She also mentioned this in her story and I actually already had one. I had, what is the other one called? The pinky one? 
shoot for some reason I can't think of the name of the other one but I have two of these I have the pinky peach one and then this one I had the other one first and I loved it and then I saw her recommend this shade so I picked this up I have definitely gotten so much use out of this I love this lip gloss it is so worth it it's $22 I think these are the best lip glosses that Charlotte Tilbury offers they have a couple of different formulas but this one is my favorite and I think it's also the least expensive so that's good you know well that there's a win um but this is such a pretty nude gloss it has a gorgeous champagne shimmer i love putting this all over the lips i'll put it just on the center of my lips i'll wear it alone i'll wear it on top of lipstick it is so amazing and i highly recommend it it's honestly jarringly nuts what the other one is called so i'm gonna go look at it really quick and let you know i'm literally so mad <laughs> after looking at it this is in the shade blondie i've definitely used this one more than a bees and nights but i've had this one a lot longer so it makes sense but I love both of these lip glosses I think all of the other ones that they have have a cream finish so they don't have glitter in them but both of those have a beautiful little shimmer and it's so pretty and I definitely definitely don't regret that purchase we have two more NARS products to talk about and they're both blushes the first one is actually one that I have in my current everyday makeup drawer this is in the shade deep throat and this is a beautiful blush i love this blush i have used it a ton recently and i'm so glad that i have been getting some good use out of it definitely don't recommend this one then the other one that i purchased is in the shade torrid and both of these blushes again i purchased because of omri's i literally went insane when she recommended like a bunch of products on her instagram story one day randomly i don't know why she did that but it was just like a casual like here's what I've been loving or maybe it was a Sephora haul or something um but I purchased this shade as well which literally I'm looking at the pan I have not used this once <laughs> since I bought it which is such a shame especially because this is such a gorgeous color and I'll definitely be using this I think this is gonna be gorgeous in this like fall winter time it's 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 November but it still feels like summer here it actually the today and yesterday have been reasonably uh <laughs> the temperature has been reasonable is what i'm trying to say like we're talking 70s which is you know that's that's getting a little chilly here in florida not chilly but like a little chilly it's 70 degrees today and i was cold when i was outside so i'm excited to start using this i'm definitely going to move this to my everyday makeup drawer because i've had this for a year and literally have not used it once so I am ashamed of that and I regret not using it more but I definitely don't regret purchasing either of these I think that NARS has an amazing blush formula and I love NARS orgasm that's like my favorite shade from them but I've actually really been liking deep throat and these are all classic shades that have been around for years and years and years so I love those definitely need to start using this one more torrid definitely need to get more use out of that one next I have a fun little eye product now this I don't see this as an option to purchase on the Sephora website, so I think that this is no longer available. I feel like this was probably a part of the holiday collection last year. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Smash Glitz. Now, I could be wrong. It could be a different shade, but I'm pretty sure it was this shade, but it might be my other one. I have two of these, and one of them, my boyfriend Jarvis actually, picked out for me to buy when we were at Sephora he was like oh you should buy this and I was like oh, so excited because he was like you know getting involved in makeup and I love makeup so much and obviously I love him and this was like probably a month after we started dating so like we were still super like new into the relationship and everything and I don't know this just gives me such good memories to think about like I remember the exact Sephora store that we were at the day that he picked this out and I don't know I just thought it was so cute so this is what it is it's basically very similar to those old what was that brand infallible something infallible shadows Revlon I can't remember the brand but Amber Rush was like the shade that everybody loved and it's one of these little pressed shadows that has this little thing in it and this is so pretty guys I used it a lot when I first got it and 
honestly haven't touched it all year but this is what it looks like so stunning also <laughs> i love how i went like into this whole story about how i could never forget the day that jarvis picked this out for me and i don't even know if this is the right shade <laughs> but i'm pretty sure it is but maybe not it was either this one or the other one i can't remember but i remember everything else about that encounter so this is beautiful it's like a light very cool toned pink kind of vibes with my shirt but then it also has like actual gold and purpley blue glitter in it and it's just like it's so dimensional and it looks amazing on the eyes very different i feel like if i saw somebody wearing this i would like know that they were wearing this it's very identifiable when a lot of eyeshadows aren't so much but yeah this is really pretty definitely haven't used it as much as i wish i would have but i definitely don't regret purchasing it next we have a perfume and i actually am pretty sure that i got this from one of those little vouchers i don't think i would have just like purchased this you know the sephora perfume samplers i'm pretty sure that this is the one that i picked from that honestly i don't think i've used this a single day <laughs> since i got it no i definitely have but like definitely not since i moved which was may and i i mean i definitely used it before that but uh, i don't know did i already say what this was the dulce and gabbana dolce and gabbana dolce garden perfume it's super cute definitely not my go-to perfume it smells really good though it's definitely sweet it has a little bit of floral and maybe like a little bit of coconut possibly i don't know i'm not good at describing scents but it is really nice and it's definitely something that i would be okay with wearing but it's just not my favorite and i think it was the best out of the selection that i had to choose from but so i'm not mad like i'm i'm happy with the purchase and that i got it in a sephora perfume sampler but had i just purchased this outright i think i would have been a little bit more upset about it so i definitely don't regret that one we have some more huda beauty products these i actually do not think are available anymore one says it's out of stock and one says that this item cannot be shipped to the united states these are the huda beauty power bullet and lip contour pencil lip kits so i bought two of them here we have two of them i'm pretty sure that this is what i was talking about i don't know this had to be it even though i wrote something different in my description box i wrote huda beauty throwback lip kits but i'm pretty sure that this is what i was referring to so these kits were 34 dollars, but they were a 44 dollar value i got the um, there were two duos a nude ish one and like a pinky nude ish one the more nude one has the lip liner in the shade HBIC and the lipstick in the shade Board Meeting. This is very interesting. This was, again, when I was like first getting into Huda Beauty products. I had a couple of their products, but just not a ton. I had the new nude palette and maybe a couple of their nine pan palettes, but I was really trying to explore the brand more at this time. This is what the lipstick looks like. Definitely pretty dark. It actually looks similar to that Patrick Ta lip liner. Definitely not my shade, not my kind of color. It's a lot more warm, orangey toned and a lot deeper than what I like. It's also extremely matte. Like it's kind of a bizarre formula. <laughs> it's very thick. So there's that and then the lip liner and then this one is definitely one that i prefer this one i got the lip liner in the shade partner in crime and the lipstick is in the shade girls trip so i'll swatch this one next to the other one it almost is like a moussey <laughs> texture it's very odd so as you can see this one is like a brighter not a, quite a bubblegum pink it's a little bit more muted down than that and a little bit deeper but it's so much brighter and more pink than the other huda beauty lipstick i hope you guys can see that from here um so i definitely prefer this kit and i i don't think i've gotten a ton of use out of it but i i'm not upset or i'm not i don't regret purchasing this maybe i regret purchasing this one because the colors just aren't so much for me even the lip liner is like it's okay it's just so deep it's like so deep and i'm not used to using colors like that and i mean i don't know i just feel like it doesn't look good on my skin tone but if you love it then i am so happy for you but i think this one i do regret purchasing 
Um, the more pinky one, I think I'm okay with it, but I don't think that I got my full value out of it, and I probably... I mean, would I be upset if I never purchased it? Probably not. I probably wouldn't have even remembered that this kit existed if I didn't buy them, so... I don't know. I can't say that I'm happy with this purchase, but I'm also... I can't say that I regret it. This... Okay, we have two more things to talk about, guys. This one... I can't believe that I'm about to say this, but I bought a Sephora Favorites holiday perfume sampler, and it is a year later, and I still have not redeemed the free perfume. That's right. You heard me right. The little voucher card thing is still in my purse. It has been in my purse for an entire year, and I haven't done anything about it. I will say, the majority of this year, I, you know, wasn't going to anywhere, so... I'm a little bit excused for that, but like I went to Sephora a couple of days ago for the sale and I didn't redeem it because I just forget every single time I go. I don't understand what is wrong with me. So I obviously don't have the perfume sampler anymore, but <laughs> I never redeemed the perfume. I don't even remember which one I wanted to get. So I don't know if those things expire, but I think next time I go, I'm gonna try to remember and ask about it and see if it's too late. I really hope it's not too late because I would be very upset. But I mean, they would be my fault. And then the last product that I have to talk about today is one that I actually use pretty much every single day. And this is probably like my most proud purchase from this video that doesn't even make sense but the last product that i featured in that haul a year ago was the huda beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder i love this this is such an amazing product i'm wearing it today i wear it almost every single day this is my favorite powder of all time i wish that it wasn't so fragranced i really do because it is extremely fragranced but i've been using it for a year now and i've learned to live with it it's still i still notice it but after time goes by i don't smell it anymore it's only when i'm applying it like right now i don't smell it at all and i had this makeup on for probably like two hours or so but this product is so good and I am so thankful that I decided to purchase this a year ago and get introduced to my favorite powder of all time. I'm actually, like when I really look at it, I'm getting close to being out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's probably about here. And usually what I do, it has like a mesh sort of fabric sifter thing. So usually I just like spank the butt of the... <laughs> powder and then a lot of it will come out of the sifter and into the lid but recently when I've been doing it like the last few weeks or so not enough product is coming out so I have to put the lid back on shake it tap it some more um so that makes me think that I'm almost coming to the end of this and I will have to repurchase it but I am going to wait until I actually do run out of it because I have so many powders but I love this thing. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. It keeps my makeup in place all day. It's great if you have oily skin. Just make sure you remember that it's very fragranced. And if fragrance is something that is, you know, sensitive, your skin is sensitive to, then be fair warned that it is fragranced. So that is everything that I hauled a year ago from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I honestly had so much fun filming this. It was like even more fun than I thought it was going to be. I just wanted to talk to you guys about this kind of thing and it's definitely a little bit, I don't know if I'm gonna call it a wake up call, but sort of like a humbling moment where I realized that I've had some of these things for a very long time and I'm definitely not using them as much as I should be and I try my best to cycle through my makeup which is why I do these everyday makeup drawers which if you haven't seen those videos I basically shop my stash and pick out a bunch of products to use for the next month or two and I put it in my filming table I have two drawers here and I basically reach for these products you know on a normal basis I'll go to my makeup collection and you know pick through specific things that I'm looking for but I try to stick to the drawers use things a few times decide if I want to keep them or declutter them decide if I love them or you know I don't know it's just a nice way to cycle through things 
but I still am obviously not doing a good enough job so definitely a wake-up call <laughs> I try to be a lot more smart about my makeup purchases these days and I feel like I've been doing a lot better this year than I did last year I definitely spent a lot of money on makeup last year and I'm trying my best to sort of rein things in a little bit so Anyway, that's it for today's video. All the products that I mentioned will be linked down below, assuming that they are still available. I know I mentioned like one or two that aren't. And my original haul video will be down there as well. So, also anything else that I mentioned will be linked, I will link, so. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.